everyone, it's Naomi from Willow and Fink. Thank you for joining me today. Um, if you don't know me, again, I said my name's Naomi and I mainly uh, paint, stencil and decoupage. And today I thought I would um, paint, oops, I think the thing's getting a bit wobbly. I would paint my little step stool. Um, so we'll uh, just get straight into it, shall we? So I'll just lower the, lower the camera down. Okay, just see how we're going for. Okay, right. Should be able to see like, like that. Oh, just have. I can't go back any further. So this is as good as we're going to get. So I'm going to paint my uh, little step stool black today, and I'm using um, a chalk emulsion paint and a small round uh, furniture brush that I've uh, bought from the local hardware. Um, this is a rounded brush that has um, some bristles, um, synthetic bristles in it. It's not a um, hog's breath, uh, sorry, hog's breath. Like, it's not a hog's bristle like this one. Um, and this is just, just a round one. It did come with a very long handle and it was just too long for me, so I've cut the handle off. Okay, we'll start painting, shall we? Just take my glasses off. Okay, right, so we'll just start painting. So I'm going to paint the stool black. Um, I've had the stool for a while and I just thought I'd paint it black and then I was going to put another colour over the top and just distress it. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what colour I'm going to be putting over the top. I may um, even have another go at trying the milk paint that I tried last time. I actually have a yellow, uh, a small yellow sample of uh, the milk paint that I was given when I purchased the white one and if you remember um, when I was doing doing that um, fa on Facebook the um, the paint itself was a couple of years old so I wasn't a hundred percent sure if the paint was still any good or not um, but it seemed to be um, I think I just sort of prepped it wrong so we'll just sort of give this a bit of a, a rough old paint as I said this is going to be the base coat so it doesn't have to be doesn't have to be perfect because um, I will either distress it so the yellow comes through. But as I said, I'm probably will going to end up putting another colour over the top and um, either distressing or using the milk paint. Okay, so just get into all the little nooks and crannies. Okay, so this is just a um, just a step stool that I bought from the local hardware. It's nothing, nothing great about it. It's just a step stool that many of us have. Um, I'm doing a little bit of exercise at the moment, and I'm using it for the the step up and step downs. I'm not quite sure what those are called. Um, I'm having to do a little bit of a physio at the moment, so while I'm doing physio on my shoulder. Um, I'm sort of after I finish that I'm doing a bit of bit of exercise just just for general fitness okay so I'm still just painting just paint this very quickly it's not much fun watching someone paint but there we go so, okay. so just painting Okay, so we're just doing the sides now. Um, just doing a very rough, a rough coat. Okay, almost done the top. So it, um, it's a warm day today. It's actually a very hot day today. So it's uh, the paint is dry, uh, drying quite quickly. It's actually a little bit too warm to be out here in the garage, but um, there is a breeze every now and then. So. That's um, a quite a nice respite from the heat. I've got the air conditioner on in the house, and um, that's a nice comfort in this heat. So I think it's meant to be 33 degrees today, so that's a little bit warm. Okay, oh, sorry, turn this around so you can see what I'm painting. I'm now painting the sides. I sort of forget that I'm painting on camera. I'm just sort of in my own little my own little painting zone 
So it's actually Australia Day today for anyone who watches, either comes on live or watches me on on the replay later on. So it's Australia Day um, and there's lots of things happening around. There's some fireworks in town tonight. Probably not going to go to those. They get a bit busy. Uh, and then there was some Australia Day breakfasts in town. But we didn't go to those either, so we didn't do much today by way of celebrations. But uh, the girls have made cupcakes, so after this we'll be having um, <clears throat> some cupcakes to uh, and a bit of afternoon tea. Okay, so I'll just get in here, get in there with those. Okay, sometimes the, you just need to dab the brush a little bit just to get into all the little nooks and crannies and get it all get all the bits as I said I'm probably going to go over it with another color anyway so it's not going to matter the color that I'm probably going to use will probably be um, this sample paint of it's called sunflower I thought that might be nice especially if I've got a, a black um, stool so that looks like it's coming along quite nicely do a little bit in here as well get all the bits done okay right okay so we're doing just doing the bottom of the chair at the moment the sides okay that'll do so a little bit rough a little bit rustic I think most of the time these stools are a little bit on the on the rustic side Okay, I think most people would have a have a stool similar to this somewhere in their home. Okay. Especially good for when you've got kids helping in the kitchen. They can just stand on the stool and uh, and help with whatever it is that you're that you're making or not helping, more like getting in the way. I know my kids used to like to help me in the kitchen when I was uh, cooking. They still do. The good thing is now that they're older, they um, aren't as much of a hindrance. They are more of a help. My eldest one will be 16 uh, in about three weeks. My middle one, she's just turned 13. And my youngest, my youngest daughter, I've got three daughters, uh, she was 10. Uh, in October sorry oh September my gosh I can't remember her birthday how bad is that yeah. it's a bit like when you take the kids to the doctor and you ask a question and you've got to go now which kid had their tonsils out or which kid was vaccinated which one had the flu yeah mother of the year I think okay so we're getting there it's just a nice little project this stool getting into all the little crannies just trying to get in there give it a bit of a wiggle with the brush sorry if the uh, camera is wiggling I'm just trying to get in to all the crannies nooks and crannies okay so when they make these tables they don't actually make them Probably should have sanded it before I started painting, but that's okay. Right, I think we're so we've done the top, the sides. Okay, so I think we've got most of it. I'll probably go over with a smaller brush later on and get rid of the the um, the bits that I've missed. Okay, so we'll just go in and paint it. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to paint today. I had a few different things that I wanted to, to, oops, you can't see. Hang on, I'll just pull that down just a moment. There we, oh, there we go. That's a bit better. Should have done that earlier on. Okay. So apologies for that for anyone that joined me and couldn't actually see what I was doing. Okay, I was too engrossed in what I was, what I was doing. Okay. 
So just give it a bit of a, a paint. Okay, so just painting along the back. Okay, painting here. Okay, so okay, just getting in there. So try and just paint in the same direction. So it's not just a mishmash of um, brush strokes. Sometimes you sort of can't help it. So we can sort of line them up a bit. Uh, chalk paint does leave some brush strokes sometimes. So um, but that's okay. That adds to the, to the rusticness of it all. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can see. Yes, you can see. Can see what I'm doing. Okay, so okay, we're just we're almost there, almost there. Okay, yeah. So as I said, it's Australia Day today. There'll be a lot of barbecues and things happening um, because it's so hot. There's a a total fire ban in place at the moment. Um, and those from overseas who listen to this may know about the fires that we're having um, in the eastern coast of Australia um, it's, it's actually quite a quite a tragedy on that's unfolding luckily for us um, I live on the west coast of Western of Australia in Western Australia um, and we haven't been affected by the large-scale bushfires like the eastern states do or have been I should say We've had some small fires, um, but nothing, um, nothing like what the poor people over east have had. Um, I'm in a number of uh, painting groups, and just some of the stories that I'm hearing that's coming out of the fires is just, just tragic. And then, then you see the pictures of the poor animals as well. It's just. It's just tragic. So I'm very grateful that um, I live on the in, on the western side of Australia, and we're not experiencing that. Um, we, there was some um, fires on the main highway that joins Western Australia to the eastern parts of Australia, um, and the roads were closed for two weeks, which meant that the food trucks and things couldn't get in. So there was a, I wouldn't say a food shortage, but um, there was a shortage of a lot of things that um, that come from the eastern states. So we had to wait, but the uh, highway is open now and the holiday makers and the food trucks and all the other freight trucks that need to get through, they can now get through. I think we've just about painted this now. Okay, so did anyone see the um, picture of the water bottle I posted earlier on today? The green, um, there's sort of like the spray water bottles. I'm so tempted to get the green one, I think I will. Um, and one of my lovely um, Facebook likers said, put some googly eyes on it, and I thought that was hilarious. And um, having a look at the pictures, it does look a little bit like a duck, so... There may be a very good chance that um, I will be putting some googly eyes on it because that's just how I roll. Um, and my daughter Tara is here. She's uh, watching me paint and she's just laughing because she knows I will. She wouldn't be at all surprised. Okay. So I think I'm pretty much done with this now. Okay, it's quite weird sort of painting back to front because normally I'd be painting this way but um, sort of painting so you can all see what I'm doing so that's all got a lovely coat of black on it now I'm just sort of filling in where the furniture the wood is a little bit on the rough side and there's just some uh, little dings and nicks in it but I think I've got most of it now and as I said I'm going to be putting another coat on it later anyway oh I didn't think about that how I was going to pick it up did I okay but just do this little handle hole in here so and then you see this is why I cut the handle 
off the brush because as I'm trying to get in, the long handles, especially when I was doing chairs, used to hit the spindle of the chair and then scratch my paint. So I um, went through and cut the handle off it, which I do to a lot of the brushes if they're a little bit um, uh, too long. Okay, so that should be all dry there. Oh. Picked up a bit of paint transfer from from the uh, from the desk. So I'm quite happy with that. It's okay, just going through. It's not quite dry enough, I don't think, for me to actually put a a um another coat over. And I don't really want to do another live where I get the um, hair dryer out and, and all you can hear is the hair dryer in the background. Okay. Oh, hi, Christy. Thanks for joining me. I've actually just about finished. I met Christy. She is um, uh, one of the ladies in a training group that I'm in through Sonia Miller, Grow With Hang on, just grow with Sonia Miller. She does free training. And Christy is actually a lovely lady from America. And her Facebook page is called A Painter's Daughter. So if anyone would like to go and check her out after this. She painted a lovely table uh, the other day. And decoupaged it with um, uh, music sheets that she had um, coloured with um, coffee. Which was very interesting. Okay, so the, t the chair is now finished, or the little stool I should say. Um, I'm just waiting for it to dry. I possibly will go over it with the milk paint. I'm still not 100% not sure what I'm going to do, but I won't do that on this live right now, only because the paint hasn't dried. Um, oh, and I missed a spot. Okay, yeah, I missed, I forgot to do this inside bar oh well no I haven't finished painting I thought I had there we go we all missed something okay got a bit nervous okay oh my eldest daughter's just come in to say something what's the matter what's the matter oh you know to tell me that I missed that bottom bar <laughs> yeah my um, eldest daughter's just uh, come in to tell my middle daughter that I, because they're watching live as well, um, that I missed that bar and I'm like, yep, I just saw that. So um, we shall just paint, lift this, paint it up. Okay, it wouldn't be the first time I've, uh, I've missed something when I've painted. Okay, right. So I'm just wondering if this would actually be dry enough now to do the top with the um, milk paint okay um, I'm wondering Tara do you think this is dry enough love what do you think uh, yeah yeah you think that's dry enough yeah give it a, it a go bit wet in some spots. I know it's a bit wet in some spots that's okay but I think yeah. we are good to go so this is my little footstool that I have going on Okay, as, oops, hang on, just trying to get into the camera. As you can see, there is a few little spots I've missed, but uh, that'll be okay. When I paint over it with the yellow, you won't see it. And then hopefully, it'll come out a nice colour, because the colour I've got is called Sunflower. So, um, it'll uh, be a lovely colour. So what I think I might do is just leave this Facebook Live here. Um, and come back after when I've um, okay great thanks everyone um, so yeah I, what I've done I've fixed that up sorry my bad okay right so I've painted this stool in black um, actually called Van Helsing which I think is quite a funny name for a color and yes I have watched the movie it wasn't really a movie for me but that's okay so yep yeah, so I've painted this black I've given it a really really quick coat as you've seen of the um, black paint and you know what I'm thinking that might be might be dry enough to do a bit of um, milk paint I wonder if I should do it Tara's going yes yes mum do the milk paint 
Uh, my first, as those that followed me, my first experience with milk paint didn't quite go as well as I liked and I'm a little bit nervous <laughs> to give it another go to be honest. But Tara's going, yes mum, do it. So, um, and you know, I've got time so why not if those that would like to um, stay with me while I experiment for the second time with chalk, um, milk paint, by all means, please stay. Um, otherwise, that's it and I will show you the finished thing later on um, so I'll grab a tray and we will just oh, Christy says milk paint is sketchy at best yeah I know Christy um, I don't know if you've seen last I've got this uh, milk paint and it's about I bought it about two three years ago and I really don't know if it lasts or not um, and it's not our friend's paint it's a different paint um, and I don't know if it goes off so we'll um, ah, we'll give it a go why not I've got the whole afternoon so the kids have got their um, cakes just about ready okay so I think it's one is to one is to one so we'll give it we'll give it a go I did bring some water out with me because as I said it's really hot here today and uh, yeah mm -hmm. So I'm thinking maybe two spoons. Okay, supposed to be okay as long as it's kept dry. All right, Christy, I'll I'll go I'll go with what you say, because yeah, I tried it once and it was a disaster. Um, so we'll um we'll we'll give it a go. Okay, so I've got my water. So it's just not actually I'm using filtered water. Um, actually, I think that might be too much paint, but that doesn't matter. We'll, oops, we'll give it a go. Okay, right, okay, so I feel like the mad scientist, so I'll just turn this down so we can see. So I've got, okay, a tray, I've got the milk, oops, the milk paint powder and the water in there. So I'll just turn that down and I'll give it a bit of a and see actually I'll just do it with oh, that spoon there okay and see how we go so I think we just mix it um, okay and just give it a good old last time I mixed it I had a um, a um, whisk but I don't think I brought it in with me oh hang on Oh, there, there's a whisk here. Try it with that. Okay. Oh, it's. Oh, I didn't clean it from the last time I used the milk paint. Okay. So I think we'll give it a bit of a bit of a stir. I hope everyone can see. Okay. Right. Okay. So I think that'll do, and we'll just brush it on. I bought some chip brushes the other day I'm not on oh, um, where are we where are we where are we okay this oh that one's wet that's not good my husband was in here painting before um, okay we'll try this so I've got a chip brush um, for those of you that uh, follow a lot of American um, painters they use a thing called a chip brush which we didn't actually get here the closest that i could find was a thing called a gesso brush um, um okay and then um when i was at the bunnings the other day i actually found a whole bag of chip brushes so these are different to the gesso brushes that i was found so if anyone is looking for a chip brush or don't know what they are they're actually these hogs bristle hogs bristle brushes and they're really shaggy um so we'll um give it a go i used it for chalk paint and it was okay it left the paint a bit streaky but you know hey we'll give it a go it's only paint worst comes to worst we'll um just sand it off what does christy say christy said i had one that didn't chip at all and one that all fell on the floor christy that's like last time when i used the uh, milk paint I was painting and it all fell off so then I sanded uh, and I added some chalk paint and I messed around with the mixture 
and then you know what none of it fell off I'm like really it's either all or nothing okay so we'll just give this a go it's got a little bit of lumps in it so I don't know if it's meant to be like that or not but we'll okay so apparently with milk paint if the surface is shiny um, the paint will fall off but if it is not the paint is meant to adhere that's my understanding of how milk paint works okay so we can see okay okay so okay right oh I like the color I don't know if I would call it sunflower I think it's more of a curry color but it's nice it's a nice color so we'll see I'm doing it with the chip brush so it is leaving it a little bit streaky is that how it's meant to look Christy yeah I don't know like I said I haven't used it um, very well before so we'll um, just see how it goes but I think it might be or either or my chalk paint that is underneath may be a little bit too um, too fresh perhaps but I'll give it a go and then maybe what I might even do is swap my brushes over and use I don't really like to be honest I don't really like that chip brush it's a little bit too a bit too scraggy what have I got here I wonder if I can use that one are we are we meant to go over it again I don't know oh well I just paint to my own rules um, everyone has their own way of painting um, this I don't think there's any right or wrong way just whatever whatever floats your boat okay um, so I would assume that once it has um, okay hang on, what does Christy say yep but when dry and it's distressed I think the gray shows it will look good okay thanks Christy so it flakes when it dries maybe that's the mistake that I made last time mmm okay all right and thank you Christy for joining me I was a little bit nervous with my lives as I said Christy is in a, uh, a business group that I'm in um, where we're a whole group of business people not necessarily painters but creatives or any business and we've all decided to um, help each other and support each other because when you're a small business um, it can be very daunting and um, especially if there's no one in your town or your area that you've got to uh, be able to talk to people about or have that support or just to ask some questions about what am I doing right or what am I doing wrong um, lately we've been talking about Facebook pages um, some of you will know that uh, about 18 months ago I was working as a virtual assistant so I used to help people in my area small businesses start their Facebook pages um, I would give them a bit of training and the safety of um, using Facebook some of them didn't even have personal Facebook pages let alone a business Facebook page um, and the lady who I'm following at the moment Sonia Miller from Junk Monkey Paint she's um, going into all of those um, details with everybody on there and helping them so it's great so if anyone wants to join in by all means um, it's on YouTube it's on at nine o'clock western at night um, if you're in WA if you are in the eastern states it would be what would daylight saving so nine so it'll be 12 o'clock midnight so those that are in the eastern states wouldn't be able to catch it live but you can get on there and talk and um, or type and then Sonia will answer your questions okay I'm thinking I'm thinking I like that color Okay, I'm liking that a lot um, so I'm sort of small talks not really my thing so 
that is one good thing about the group that I'm in is that we all give each other advice and help of what to talk about because sometimes talking when you're painting or talking just to strangers in general doesn't come natural to some people some people are naturally quite shy um, I'm quite chatty on a keyboard but when it comes to real life I get a little bit nervous and I'll just waffle on okay yeah so Christy said because Christy's in America um, so Christy said if you wanted to catch Sonia it's 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time um, in the US so um, uh, I'm not quite sure about the times and stuff but I know that the lady that does it she's from Pennsylvania if that's correct um, okay I've made a bit of a mess under there um, so if anyone would like to go on to have some small businesses because I'm all about mums and dads and small businesses and the side hustle and and making money because I'm sure everyone could do with a few extra dollars in this environment my paint's getting a little bit dry I wonder if I should put a little bit more water in it I think I will just a tad okay see so too busy talking thinking of things to say and I wasn't paying attention to the paint okay so this is my milk paint that I've got here uh, yeah Chrissy said yes and that's East Centre in Pennsylvania okay fantastic so it's quite funny so everyone who gets on there is saying good morning good morning and I'm saying I say hello because <laughs> yeah because it's night time here um, so I sort of watch that and um, and then it, go to bed and everyone's saying what they're doing for their day um, and I'm like oh I've had my day I'm going to bed <laughs> yeah no there's some interesting things and there's some absolutely lovely and talented people on there so um, if anyone would like to, to join us by all means okay and I would also like everyone to know that I do not get any endorsements from Sonia the lady that runs it um, I'm just someone that's interested in business and what she has to say so this is a unpaid endorsement how's that I think that's what it's called okay right but we did talk about that the other day about how to do paid endorsements and things maybe hey maybe I should hit her up what do you reckon Christy hey <laughs> no just joking just joking no okay so what did Christy say it's all 1 30 a.m there oh my gosh Christy what are you doing up that's too early for me okay so I'm just doing this we haven't got any oh it might it's looking a little bit chippy on the top I don't even know if I'm painting this on right to be honest I'm just sort of just sort of going with it I actually forgot what I was doing I was too busy talking and trying to make conversation that I wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing okay so I've done that side there I think that's going to be okay now okay right okay so I hope every oh sorry I didn't even see if anyone could see what I was doing okay so I've painted the side of um, the stool it's a little bit rough and then rustic that's good because then I'll just go over it later um, with a sand pad if it chips it chips if it doesn't it doesn't uh, and I'll just go over and distress it with the sand pad so if a little bit is showing through that's fine um, anyone that's a rustic shabby painter will know that um, imperfection is mainly what all the artists are after so I'll turn this way and just paint okay so Christy said that she was finishing painting a table base oh okay yep so Christy will you get some sleep before the next lot um for Sonia's next uh, YouTube or will you be staying awake okay 
Okay, so I'm just finishing this up. I think we have to put this on quite, because I was thinking, you know, sometimes I feel like I should paint or do, do a new technique first and practice it and get it down perfect before I show anyone. But then I'm like, you know what? No one gets it right the first time. And I think sometimes it's quite frustrating when you're watching someone do something and they do it perfectly and then when you try and do it and it doesn't turn out perfectly, you're going, oh, well, what, what happened or what went wrong? So sometimes I think that having a go with something live for the first time, and if it goes wrong, that's life, it goes wrong, because um, I'm sure whatever went wrong with you and your painting would has probably happened to somebody else. And then I go, oh, well, I'm not the only one that's done it or done it wrong or whatever. Okay, right, so I think I've just, uh, again, it's a little bit rough around this little, um, what's that thing called? I suppose a little holding it in peg thing. I don't know what that thing would be called. A doweling perhaps. I don't know, but I think that's that's good. So we've painted painted the top, the side. Um, it's probably a little bit thin on there as well, but that's okay. We'll paint that up. It's not going to be perfect. I think we've just about just about done. I tell you what, these people that can paint and show and display really well, I'm envious because. I find it quite hard to sort of paint upside down and back to front and whatnot just to show. Okay, yep, okay. So what did Christy say? She said to me, oh, how do I get that to come down? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay, no, she's going to go to bed. Okay, and that thing's full of wedge. Thanks, Christy. Okay, so that is how it's looking on the top. It's drying quite nicely. There is a little bit of the grey showing through. It's not chipping as, as I was hoping, but it may not. And that may very well be just because the, um, the black paint underneath is fresh or I may have uh, done it wrong. Um, because I've never seen milk paint until just recently, so I don't even know if it's actually a thing that very many know about because I find I follow a lot of American oops, sorry turn it down I follow a lot of American painters and some of the products and things that they have we just don't get here um, so and it's um can sometimes be a bit frustrating and we just have to make do oops, sorry I'm turning that around sorry um, and we just have to make do with what we can what we can find and um, Yes, and then you see some stuff that they have and you go, oh wow, that is great. I would love to try that, but we can't get it because it's not available here. Or the shipping, if you can get it, is just so prohibitively expensive. Okay, so I think I think that's good. How does that look? Tara, does that look good? Yeah, yeah so we've got the yellow going. Okay. So I'm just now doing, just down in here, I keep forgetting that I need to turn the chair around so you can see. I'm just so used to just painting for myself. Okay, if I can just do that like that, go across that ways. Okay, and sometimes I'm a little bit of an impatient painter as well. Just about out of paint, can you see? Can you see that? There we go. I'll hold it up and we can see. Okay, right. I think we're just about done now. Um, okay, so I think we'll just go through that in there like that. Oh, forgot to do the other side. That'd be right. Just as I thought I'd finished. I don't know if I'll do this bar in the middle or not. Um, what does Christy say? It looks good though. Wait until it fully dries. Okay, thanks Christy. Um, so Christy, have you, have you used a lot of uh, milk paint before? Because it's sort of new to me. As I said, um, I bought it from a local lady 
a couple of years ago and never actually used it because I was too scared the whole having to you know add water and mix it yourself it all seemed a little bit too uh too scary but um it's actually not that bad okay right let me see i'm actually going to run out of paint i think um yeah i'm fairly happy with that i'm probably going to have to go through and finish it oh christy said only a few times okay Yep, so what I will do, Christy, I'll wait till it fully dries and then I'll give it a bit of a sand. I have to mix up a little bit more paint, I think. I'm just about out. So I'll do that here. So for those that... Do you see what I just did? I just lifted underneath the, underneath the stool while the paint was wet. And now I've got paint on my hands. That is typical. That's the things I do. Okay, so I'll just make maybe... Another half a teaspoon, half a tablespoon maybe of paint. Add some more, and then I, that should ideally be enough. I do like the idea of being able to mix the paint um, as you use it because, oops, that might be a bit too much water. I'll tip that out. Um, that looks about right, I think. Because um, I don't always, when I buy the chalk paint in the jars, or sorry, in the tins. I'm just mixing that so you can see. Um, I don't always get around to using it, and then they, the paint goes all yucky in the, in the in the tin. And I'm naughty. I actually paint straight out the tin. And it's not very often I'll actually decant paint into a plate or a bowl. So then the the tin gets all gross and yuck. And then the um, paint dries out okay so I'll pick this up this way and try and do it where are we gonna go try and paint this bar and see how we go okay can you can everyone see just try and turn that around okay so what did Chris say it's not a good day until you get into the paint oh Christy tell me about it and I didn't put an apron on or put painting clothes on today so uh, the chances of me getting the paint on my clothes is going to be quite quite good okay so okay so I think I've just about finished this I'll um, just do this little bar little support rail thing okay can you see where I put my fingers? Oh, you can too. Look, you can see where I put my fingers. Okay, so paint on this side now. Okay. So I just paint that. Paint that. Okay, and then I just paint that inside. That inside bar. Okay, and then I think, and touch that little wedge thing, and I think I'm pretty much done. And then I might just use the leftover paint to, and I paint something else while I'm going. Okay, oh, and I think that's pretty much the whole thing's painted now. Okay, I will fix up. Oh, that was a bit wet where I just put my hand. I will fix up where I put my fingers because it doesn't look uh, very nice. And with the extra paint, maybe that might even chip a little bit better too. Oh, it's chipped a little bit there. That's exciting. Okay. And I just need to get in here with the brush. And I think the whole stool is pretty much done then. Okay, right. I think that's it. Tara, did I miss any bits, love? No. No, I got it all? Okay, great. Okay, I will just probably leave this like this now. And um, I think it's done. I might just use up the leftover bits of paint and just go over some bits that I've missed. But I'm pretty happy with that. 
Okay, now turn this down. So this is the stool that I've painted. Okay. Ah, Christy, thank you. See, Christy's done this before. Christy said, hint for the next time, turn it over and paint the bottom side first. You know what? That does make sense. That makes a heck load of sense. But, uh, yep, thank you for that, Christy. I'll, I'll keep that in mind for next time. So my stool is done. So it was just one of those little little stools that you, little step stools that you can buy from the local hardware. Uh, so Chris says now if you really want good chipping you can use a heat gun to dry. Oh, that's a good idea. I don't have a heat gun, I do, but I do have my hair dryer with me. Um, and usually that gets a bit of a blasting during the lives, but today I thought maybe I shouldn't um, put it on and because all you can hear is the uh, the hair dryer, but that's great. Okay, I think I'm finished with that. I may just fix up the little bits where it's um, not quite right or a little bit is showing or where I picked up some paint from the mat. Um, and yeah, so what I'll do. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, I'll just lift that up. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll wait for that to dry. Hopefully, oops, straighten that up. Hopefully it will chip really, really nicely. I'm running it over with the sand pad to get any chips off. There's a fly, sorry. And um, I will show you how it's finished. Thank you very much for joining me, whether you've watched it live. So thank you, Christy. I know you've joined me live. Thank you very much. Um, and if you watch on the replay, please leave a comment. Um, and if you've liked my video, please feel free to share it. Again, my name's Naomi from Willow and Fink where I mostly paint, raise stencil and de decoupage, decoupage, however you like to say it. Um, and that's mostly what I do. Uh, thank you, Christy, for the vote of confidence. Um, and I will just say thank you to everyone who has joined or will join. Um, I'll go now and enjoy the rest of my um, Sunday and Australia day. Um, have a bit of a barbecue for dinner tonight. You know, the great Aussie way. Um, and um, I'll join everybody next week when I paint something else. I'm not quite sure what I'm painting. Um, possibly I will upcycle a book, um, as some of you have seen before, with um, either the appliques or the ray stenciling or the decoupage. I may do that or I may just paint some more furniture or if I really, really like the, uh, the milk paint, have a bit more of a practice. Okay, well, thank you very much for joining me and have a good rest of the day um, and have a good week if I don't see you beforehand. Thanks, everyone. Bye.